What's up, Roddy? It's Vman1313, and welcome to today's uh, product view, because it's not a review. Just showing you something here. I don't do product reviews, um, but I wanted to show you my new tablet, because people ask about it all the time. Hey, what are you using? What do you, you know, how do you see your routes? How do you do this and that? So, this is the uh, Samsung Tab A. It's the 8-inch version. Doesn't have any info on that one. Galaxy Tab A. And in the box is nothing. Because <laughs> I already have it out. Ta -da. I bought a case for it. Um, so that way I don't scratch it up like I did my other one. And so let's let that crank up. While I, in the box, show you that it has the manual. Has the little tab thingy that pulls out for the SD card, which is very important. Uh, the power cord and then the power brick in there. Kind of like an iPhone. That's what I always look at it. <laughs> Used to be that way. And so, yeah, that's what comes with it. This was a $120 roundabout. I got it for much cheaper um, off of, uh, well, I got it much cheaper because I had points to use up and so I was able to get it for for a better price I bought this case because you can fold it up like that it's and boom it's ready to roll V-Man 1313 so a few must-haves when looking at a tablet in my opinion as an overlander or off-roader or adventurer is space number one to me Actually, no. Number one would be GPS. You need to make sure that you have the GPS tracking on this and not just the regular, you know, not GPS. So, I'm not sure how you find it on here. I'm still learning this one. Um, oops. Connection settings, I'm sure. Let's see, location. There we go. Um, use Wi-Fi and blue for more accurate detection. But it does have the GPS. I mean, I'm not sure. My other one, you could turn off the GPS, which I guess is this whole thing, location setting, is turn off. You gotta have GPS on it. Um, everything else really doesn't matter, but it does, but it doesn't. But GPS, you gotta have it if you're gonna be using it the way I do for mapping and things like that. The other thing you've got to have, let's go back there, is, in my opinion, to make your life a whole lot easier, and again, I don't know how to use it on this one yet. Don't know how to find it yet on these. There we go. Storage. Device care. We're all good. I haven't seen that before. Storage. So I have 16 available from 32 out of 32 gigabytes. That's not bad. Most of that's apps and things like that that I installed. But actually, no. Wait a minute, Tony. There's no apps. You've got to have an SD card uh, slot on these things. I only have a 64 gig. Uh, I only have a 64 gig uh, SD card in there, and I have all those apps are installed on there. All the maps I download are installed on there. All the GPX files, KML files, KMX files, all that stuff is installed in there, and I still have tons of room. Um, sometimes I'll put audio, and I can even throw a few movies on there. So when you're out adventuring and you can't sleep at night while you're camping or whatever, throw on the movie fall asleep you know so those are the two things you really have to have in my opinion to make it worth um, having this versus having just a regular uh, GPS dedicated GPS uh, unit and so as I talk about it on, on the road you know I'll explain why I have this is what I usually use but every so often it's like you know hey how much is this mileage this mileage this mileage you know you got the calculator there ready for you to go um uh, what else you know the camera you got a camera that you could take pictures if you need to if you want to you don't have to worry about your phone using your phone you can tether your phone to this and have internet access for for other things and you know i showed you the games pass the time if you've got kids and for yourself you know it's rainy out and you got nothing to do but sit around you can do that so yeah that's you know that's the reason to me the tablet it's 
a better choice than a GPS unit. If I was on the motorcycle all the time, then the GPS unit would be better because it can take a beating versus this. But um, inside of a rig, this, it does it. It does it. You know, you, you can put in all kinds of apps and things that you enjoy looking at, watching, reading. You know, you can read books off of it. Just the possibilities are almost endless with these things. And so that's why I recommend the tablet over a GPS unit. Um, any tablet. I don't, you know, that the Samsung Tab A is just an example of what I'm using because I don't have the amount of money to be buying an iPad and this and that. I don't know much about the iPads and things like that. I know they're just not as easy to add SD cards or or you know change things up and this and that not that any of these are anymore you used to be able to change batteries and things but you can't anymore um, but yeah you know whatever you get make sure you have enough storage space to be able to load the things that you want to load in there and have the ability to, to maximize the tablet and its uses so hope that was helpful so here you will see um, I've already installed all my apps and things that I like and uh, I'll go to the minor stuff first I put games on here silly stupid game like Homescape, Grant Garden City Woody um, these are like little puzzles Clash of Clans I've played forever and ever um, just little dumb games that kinda put me to sleep at night that's really what these are and then over here it's the main stuff like the calculator, the calendar, the clock photo gallery you could take pictures I don't usually take pictures with um, my tablets but um, if you need to if you want to if something happens you can easily take a take a video or whatever and so yeah I've never opened up the camera on this thing <laughs> so the apps that I use for um, navigation are Osman is my number one app Gaia is my number two app and Google Maps I have on there you gotta have cell service for Google Maps for the most part and so that's why it's third in line if you could run Google Maps like you run Osman you use Google Maps because you know it is what it is um, I also have some camping apps that I've put on here it's uh, iOverlander hip camp and free campsites um, I've used some of these to find places to stay but for the most part I usually plan that kind of thing out in advance and not last minute but sometimes it happens and so I'm not here to review the apps themselves I'm really just looking at the at the tablet itself and here's one of the reasons why I love the tablet so here, here and hit split screen actually I'm going to show you this probably while I'm driving and then I pick the second app that I want boom the two apps open side by side you'll see this on the car when you're actually actually moving you can make it bigger so I can make this one bigger and this one smaller which is the way I like using it now because um, this one I keep as a big overall view of what I'm doing while this one I'm actually seeing where I'm at um, up close and personal so um, I had another um, tablet that was smaller this has really been working out great and it's it works wonderful so I'm gonna take you out on the road and show you a few things and um, just explain why I like them how I use them and that kind of thing so what I had before was that 7 inch and uh, I might just do a side-by-side -side type of thing on it just because boy that 7 inch was nice I, I thought it was good it's better than the phone then you go to an 8 inch now I think the 10 inch would be too big um, I'm not sure that I would I don't think I would like the 10 inch to tell you the truth um, it, it would just take up too much room here that 8 inch got to a border like to a place where it, it feels a little big um, I can readjust that you know you think that one little inch or so makes no difference but it sure does running obviously Gaia on the left and Osman on the right that's freaking cool usually I run Osman, uh, Gaia on the on the phone and the Osman on my tablet but that's kind of cool and that's exactly what I like doing is I like having Osman zoomed in 
it gives me better I, I just I see it better I see I see it better than I like Gaia I don't like the, the maps on Gaia I haven't found a map that I like on Gaia but um, but I always like seeing the overall on Gaia which is cool so right there I can put it to follow me it's actually a little too zoomed out a um, little too zoomed in it's about right there's where I like it and uh, yeah that's the new toy I think I like it this way better because I always had Osman on this one and guy on that one so I think I like the uh, guy on the right side better but yeah here we go so what a difference uh, I mean it's it was a $35 tablet versus a $120 tablet so you know three times the cost but uh, it is nice to have I, I wasn't going to because mine was working I, I don't know what kind of any of you are like that mine was working so why well, get something new beautiful horse goats out there little horse So why a tablet over uh, why a tablet over a GPS? You know, a dedicated GPS. And I think the the number one reason, in my opinion, in my mind, is the multifunctions. The many different things that you can do with a tablet versus that GPS, that dedicated GPS. That that GPS is going to tell you where to go. It might do a better job of telling you where to go. It might do a better job of of mapping things or whatever. But that's all it's going to do. This tablet, I now have some of my games uh, loaded up on it because this one has a whole lot more memory than my other one did. So I have games loaded. It's a newer tablet, so I can put some of the newer games. And I forgot how many. One, two, three, four, five. I got about seven or eight. Maybe, you know, I, I'm going to limit myself to about ten games on there. I'll probably have around ten games on there. Not like I limit myself, but I'll probably put about seven to ten games on there. Different kinds of games. So that way, you know, let's say you wake up in the middle of camp and you're, you're, you can't sleep. You can't do anything. You don't want to be loud and put a movie on or something. You, you can play some games on it. You can play games on it. The thing has an SD card as well. Um, let's see. There's some camping spots here, but that other one sure was nice. Uh, has SD card where if I really wanted to, I could load some movies, a few little movies there. Two or three, maybe four or five. Actually, I put a whole bunch. You get the right size SD card, you can fill that thing up with a few good movies on there. And now you have a, a, a movie player. You know, put on some earphones, watch a movie off your tablet. Can't do that on the GPS. And even though Gaia's not working, as you saw, I have two different apps that I could use. And really, I have three. I have Google Maps on there as well. And so I have different apps, different ways that I could look at maps, different ways I could load up maps. And so let's say somebody gives me a map and it's not loading well in Gaia, but it loads up good in Osman, or vice versa, it doesn't load in Osman, but it wants it loads easily in Gaia. I have a variety of ways to see where I'm going, see what I'm doing. And it works. And with a cell phone, you can tether, I can anyway, I can tether my tablet to my phone and have internet access, and then I can do other things such as, you know, I can see, uh, I can see my Facebook if I wanted to off the tablet. I can, I can look at other things on the tablet. So yeah, I mean, that's really it. That's the bottom line. There's so much you can do with a tablet that you can't do with a GPS dedicated GPS now that dedicated GPS might be stronger but in the end the the, 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 the the tablet can do so much more in comparison and then you can throw the, the, the whole price point out 
to say, you know, a dedicated GPS, like the Jeep, like the Garmin Overlanders, how much? I'll throw it up on the screen because I don't know off the top of my head. And I don't want to throw a wrong number out, but I know it's expensive. And I paid $119 for this. Minus my points, so I got this thing for way cheap. But if you were gonna buy it without any points or anything, you know, $120, let's say you spend 150 bucks on a tablet, on a really nice tablet. You got yourself something nice that you could do a lot of things with. Yeah, you know, it's, so, yeah, uh, you know, I don't think there really is a comparison to the two, to tell you the truth. Not in my opinion. The only time I see the uh, advantage going to a, a let's say, a, like a Garmin Overlander or something like that would be on a motorcycle. Since I do that, I, I can speak from experience. Um, the motorcycle, I'm sure that Garmin Overlander is going to take a whooping compared to a tablet. So yeah, you know, that I, I, it's it's a couple of, of things that are good about that dedicated GPS, but in the end, does it really trump a tablet? No, not in this scenario, not in, inside a rig, not if you, if you have a family, you've got the tablet there that you can, you know, say you got multiple kids or something and you need a entertain them then you got a tablet for them to have their games on and you got your tablet to do things with you know um, your wife yourself like I was just saying put some games videos movies whatever on there and you're good to go good to go so yeah 